Hello and welcome to Minslow Backend. So in this video we are going to see how you can using Python create a simple file integrity uh, script that will continuously scan a given folder or place on your computer or server and alert you in case that any of the files is manipulated either uh, modified, deleted or new files are created. So let's just start running this before we walk through the code. So it will scan this particular folder every 10 seconds and then we will save some uh, files but let's look into that so right now it's saying here initial baseline loaded no change detected scan completed then it will iterate and do the same in the next 10 seconds so let's just uh, take up this folder right here you saw here it scanned again let's try to create a new file create this file here here it says change to take this new file, so it locked that we created a new file. Let's try to modify this file. Again, it takes that we modified the file, so let's try to delete it again. And it detected that we actually deleted the file. So let's say that this was a real scenario where you wanted uh, to wanted to monitor a particular. Uh, a risky place on your device where you have some files that is just uh, just needs to be uh, static no matter what uh, it could also be that you want to make sure that nobody is actually snooping around in your uh, system or your your servers and then you can have this script running and then of course here it's just printing so basically this information will be lost whenever we stop the script and close this uh, session here but you could for example lock this and then send the lock elsewhere so that you can always in, in case that something happened it could be like a ransomware it could be that you uh, have a suspicion that somebody is actually uh, having access to your system or is uh, doing something harmful then you can go in look at the lock and see okay what has actually happened did somebody modify a file did somebody delete something has they created a new one so for example first deleted my your original file created a new one and then made a few changes that will uh, make your system uh, operate in a different way so this is a simple way of doing it but let's dive into the code so let's jump just stop this here so first off we need to specify what folder we actually need to scan here i've just created a test folder on my desktop that we are uh, using so this could be of course any folder you just need to specify the path here then we have the hash file so this is the file where we save the hashes of the files that we are scanning i will get into that file in a few seconds then we have the check interval this is basically the uh, seconds that you want to wait until the next scan you can change this to 110 you can do whatever you want here is just 10 because we need to illustrate quickly here how that worked then in our main method down here we have first off a print saying that we are monitoring this particular folder that we have specified then we call our monitor script so this is the main script uh, not the main script main uh, method function that we have in this entire script so that's where everything more or less happened first off it loads the baseline so let's look at the baseline so here it checks for the particular file hash file because we need to store uh, the path along with the hashes of the files in order for us to be able to compare whether something has happened so this is the file that we created right here so first we load the baseline then we uh, run uh, through this while loop right here where we scan the folder so this is the function scan folder here it runs through the specified folder that we have and for each of the files it stores the path to the file along with the hash value so that's why we have a function here called calculate hash here it calculates the sha 256 uh, sha value and that's basically just uh, a way for us to know whenever something has changed because no matter how small of a change you do to a file this uh, hash value will be completely different and that's how we can monitor if something has changed even if you delete or add a comma to a 200 page long file the hash value will be totally different after saving that comma or removing that comma and based on that let's dive into this uh, file here so here we have just stored the path to the files that we have in the folder 
remember we deleted the te test file again so we only have the two that remains in the folder so we have the complete paths of these and then we have the uh, hash values right here of these and that's basically what we use in order to detect whether something has happened if a new path uh, is recorded meaning a new file then it will alert us of course with a message saying that new file has been created if any of these has values are changed through a iteration meaning that the ones it scans compared to the ones it has saved it will detect that something has modified and of course if a line here is entirely removed it detects that we have deleted a file and that's basically what is happening in the for loop that we have uh, right here in our while loop so here it checks our file path the file hashes we have and then of course the current uh, hashes that's where we have scanned the folder in this iteration so not the baseline but the actual iteration that is running here then it just compares the file path against our baseline so the saved files right files here if the file path is not in the baseline it's a new file so it will basically just print that we have a new file and then uh, flip this uh, boolean to true else it will compare and see if the file hash is actually uh, different if so it will detect that uh, modification has happened and again flip this to true then it will check here if the file path uh, is not in the current hash so if a file has been deleted we'll of course detect that and lastly it will just take this boolean that is being flipped if any of these three scenarios is happening and then say that a change has been detected now it's updating the baseline and that's where we save the new baseline so if we didn't save this in each iteration we'll basically be saying every time that a new file has been created or file has been deleted so we save the baseline for our next run and that's why we only detect new uh, events happening and then of course lastly it just says that the scan has completed and it does a time sleep so it waits the amount of seconds that we have specified in the top so this is how you can do a quick uh, monitorization of your files and it could be fun to run uh, on something where you know other people are uh, working as well it could for example be a, a OneDrive that you have connected uh, to your uh, device where you know other people are working on files uh, in cooperation with you then you can see whenever they have done something just to uh, see this in a real life scenario i hope you like this uh, video and then i will see you next time here on winslow okay.